Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Ellie. Today we're going to be making some Valentine's Day paper rosettes. I love making rosettes. Um, I already made a few ones with um, party streamers, so let me show you those really quick. So that's these right here, and I love how they turned out. They look so cute. They're very simple, and these are just the party streamers in the pink color. And then I had these sentiment heart stickers from last year I think they're from the Dollar Tree and I just added that on there and they look really nice so like that by itself they already look really cute but today I'm gonna be making some out of paper and then I'm gonna be decorating them as well with just a little bit of de decoration but let's go ahead and get started so I already started um, scoring some of my paper but here we go here's a strand that I'm gonna do um, from scratch and then these are the ones that I already created just to have them ready for the sake of the video. And this one has like little Valentine's arrows and it's really cute and pink. And this one just has like gold foiled uh, red polka dots and with a white background. And then this one is just like a little pink one. And then here's another um, arrow, Valentine's arrow one. So I have those already ready, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one. Let me move these to the side. So basically, I always use my, um, when doing paper rosettes, I always use my scoreboard because it is a lot easier um, to use the scoreboard. And then everything comes out much um, more neater. But here you go. Let's see if I can do this without, um, with the camera facing this way. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and score at every eighth, at every eight inch. So for example, right here we have seven eighths. This is gonna be hard, but let's see if I can do it. So here we have seven eighths, and we have five eighths. All right, there you go. So I put the camera on top of the um, on top of the scoreboard so you could see it. But here we go. So I did seven eighths, five eighths, and now we're gonna go score at three eighths. So basically, you're scoring at every eighth. So one eighth, seven eighths. Sorry, my dog was about to start breaking. Okay, so let's just keep going. And this is up to you as far as like how long you want it. Oh, I messed up right there. It's actually right here. So this one is basically up to you on how you want it, like depending on how thick you want your rosette to be, then go ahead and measure it out. And then depending how long you want it to be, go ahead and measure it out. I always leave it at the 12 inches, but I do cut it down. I do about an inch and a half, and I think that's just like the perfect, um, the perfect width for a rosette. My glue gun's already heating up so that um, so that it's ready when I'm done with this. All right, perfect. So then now you should have your little score lines. Let me see if you can see you see them right there. So you have all your score lines, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna move this to the side. All right, there you go. I went ahead and I moved the scoreboard. But here we have our paper, so I'm just gonna bring all of these to the side so that I can work with all of them. And basically the next step is gonna be, I'm gonna cut off this little one right here because I don't, it's so small, I don't need it. So basically you're just gonna tuck in and out. So you're just gonna go in and out. And you're just gonna keep going with that process till you're done with um, the entire strip. And then just basically just try to hold it down, try to hold it tight in between your fingers, and then just um, continue going. And as you're and as you're going, press down so that the crease can stay nice and firm. That way it has like a really nice like solid crease. You just keep going. I love maker, making paper rosettes. I think these are 
Um, these make any project look really, really pretty. And you can even make these into paper clips if you make like tiny ones. It would look really nice as paper clips as well. So as you can see, mine, mine is folding in nicely because um, I did the crease really nice and um, uh, dented. That way it can fold nicely. There you go, and then just hold it, squeeze it in tight, and then there's a little piece that I'm going to cut off because it's too small. I don't need it. So now that I have all of my rosettes ready, or my paper ready, now we're going to go ahead and start assembling. So I'm going to take this one first, I think. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to take both ends and you're going to glue them together. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this end because this end is out. I'm going to tuck that end inside so that it's not that noticeable. But here we go. Let's move this closer. And then I'm gonna have to let that dry. Cause this glue guys, this glue right here, it does, it takes forever to dry. I think I'm gonna look for another glue gun cause I don't, I'm starting not to like the way this one works. Okay, I'm gonna do this one over here. And if you want to connect them, you can connect them as well. It's no problem. As in use multiple. You can even layer them. During the weekend, I was um, I was making the, the rosettes with the party streamers. And the glue got stuck to my hand and it burned. And then I ended up burning my entire hand because somehow everything just got on my hand and it hurt so bad. I felt like my skin was peeling. All right, let's continue. So once you once you lay it, just let it sit there because otherwise you're just you're gonna end up taking the glue out and then everything can fall apart. All right. So now that we have this one ready, this one should be ready because I let it dry um, a good amount of time. I have glue on my fingers. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this down and you're gonna tuck it down inside out. So you're gonna just slowly take your rosette and flip it down so that you have the white side that you're not using so that you have it facing up towards you. And this is a tricky part. You're gonna have to hold it down as best as possible because otherwise you guys see it, it'll just keep coming undone. So I have that right there. And I'm gonna grab my little punch, my circle punch. And I forgot to... I'm gonna cut a few of these.
So this is where I burnt my hand, my entire hands. This is gonna be tricky right here. Okay. So try to hold it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So just try. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. So try to hold it as best as possible and just put glue all the way around and try to get it inside the circle so that it stays in there and so that it so that it'll start to um, hold together and then with my dot that I cut out with my circle that I cut out I'm putting it in the middle kind of to hold everything together It looks like it's not holding. I'm gonna have to flip it. And put glue in the middle right here. So that it holds it down. All right guys, so I cut out my um, scallop circle. This is one and a half inch. And I just glued everything so that it stays more. It wasn't staying. And then I just tucked a little bit of glue in between the, the, um, the creases. That way it can hold a little bit better. But that's what that looks like so far. And I'm not worried about that because I'm gonna cover that. So that's just the base of how I hold everything down. So let's go ahead and continue on. Um, with this one, we're gonna go ahead and punch some pink circles because you know I kind of want everything to stay within the matching tones, even though it's gonna be colored. All right, so again, we're just gonna flip. I just burned myself. I'm gonna push that in. Put my circle. Okay, this one tucked in a little nicer. I think because this one was wider, like as in, like it was taller. It was a little bit harder for it to stay down. And probably also my glue gun wasn't like fully heated. But that looks good right there. So now we're just gonna go ahead and continue and add more glue. You wanna put in as much glue in the middle. I just burn myself again. And just hold it in. All right, there you go. And that's what that looks like. See, this one looks a lot nicer because it's a lot tighter. And I like that. I like that it's nice and tight as far as the creases go. And then you can just work with your creases. Just decrease them more. Make sure they're, you know that it's noticeable. And right there, you can see a little bit of my glue gun, of my glue, but it's not that noticeable. It's okay. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and continue with the rest. All right, there we go guys. So I went ahead and I glued everything down. So they look really cute. So as you can see, there, there's that one. And I used the bigger um, scallop circle. And then right here, this is the tiny one. And then here you have the pink one. And then here's the small circle. And then here's the wider one. As you can see the difference with these, this is a lot taller than this one. But they look cute anyway. So there we go. 
Um, and then let's go ahead and continue on. And I think I wanna go ahead and use these doilies. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put those to the side and I'm gonna take my scissors. Here they are. So I'm gonna take the doily and I'm gonna cut around the circle part. Cause I'm gonna take that off cause I'm not gonna use it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. And let's see, I'm gonna cut it off a little bit more. And cut this off a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue that right there with my ATG gun. This is the first time I do this, so let's see how it turns out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over it like that. It might not work. <laughs> but this is the first time I do this, so let's see. I had an idea in my head, but it's not really working out. Alright, never mind. I'm not gonna use that. I don't like how it's coming out. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna get some of these little glitter hearts. This one's really cute and what I'm gonna what I did is I cut two like banner types and I'm basically just gonna put them like that so that it looks like one of those like little um, paper banner thingies so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then you want to just um, put it at an angle so that it's not so straight. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other one. You could cover it again with the scallop, but I'm gonna leave it like that. And that is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna put, hmm, maybe I can layer it. Oh. All right, so I wasn't liking how anything looked, so I just cut out a big circle, and I'm gonna glue it down, just like that, just so that this pink matches the pink that's right here. Maybe that is, that's what it was missing. It was looking a little like, um, like bland, like everything was blending in together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my little 3D foam stickers. And I'm gonna put my heart down. Just like that. So simple, but it looks cute. And then let's go ahead and continue on with the rest. And I think this one, I'm gonna keep it simple as well. And this heart I actually cut off from a piece of paper. Thought it was really cute from this one right here. That's a good way to um, get embellishments as well. And then for this one, For this one, I think I'm gonna use this foam heart. And this one, I got it from last year as well. It's a sticker. But I'm still gonna add glue just so that everything stays together. And 
and there we go something really simple and then let's continue on with the rest for this one maybe you can do something simple like a little rhinestone And I'm going to layer it on top of the doily because I might put this one on a straw. That looks cute. And then we have one more, which is this little one right here. And for this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little, I have a little gem. I'm actually going to do this heart right here. This is a foam heart. And there you go. That looks really cute. I like that one. And there you have it, guys. So I think my favorite ones are these three right here. Um, this one didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it. I don't know. I had something different envisioned. But there you go guys, that is it. Those are some, just to give you an idea, these are some Valentine's rosettes that you guys can make. Um, that's about it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ellie underscore plan with me. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.